What's up, YouTube? Uh, this is a real quick video. Just wanted to kind of go over this uh, Matrix diorama chateau scene. Um, kind of like a review, you know, just kind of giving you a quick little, you know, overview of how it looks and, you know, what, what you're getting for the money. And if you want to consider getting it, you know, this will give you a better in-depth look. All right, so let's just jump right into it. First, we just check the box out. This is the Matrix Series 1. This came out in 2003, I believe. It's the Neo, the Matrix Reloaded Chateau scene. Here's one side of the box. There's a nice picture of Neo doing a nice, the one kick. Of course, made by McFarlane Toys. Very detailed toys they always make. Not as, not as articulated as like, uh, let's say, Legends or something like that, but the detail on these things is uncanny. Got a picture of like one of the statue scenes with the shields and the swords and everything like that. that has Neo's name. This deluxe edition features Neo and is based on a fight scene in the Chateau from the Matrix Reloaded. If you turn it to the back, it just has a nice little, that same similar write-up that I just read, maybe a little bit more. Shows a picture of it fully assembled, which it already pretty much comes assembled anyway. You just got to stick the figures and stuff like that. And then at the bottom, it does show some other characters that you can get individually, like the Twins and Morpheus, different Neos and Trinities, stuff like that. And on the other side, it's a bigger picture of Neo from the front, I think, doing the kick from a front view. Same little write-up. Um, top, nothing really fancy, kind of left open. And that's pretty much it bottom just has like spawn.com made in 2003 all right enough of the box let's jump into it now so here's the actual set once it's already taken out of the box put together I didn't set the other character the vampire right here character up he's supposed to be flying through this you have to take it came with all these little plastic pieces so you can make this like it's shattered and broken have it stretched out and have them kind of laying like that let me back up a little bit but I didn't want to do all that. But I did put Neo suspended in the air. And how he does that, he comes with the, let me turn it to the side. Comes with a little rod right here. Really simple. Sticks right in a little peg hole. Then it also sticks right into the back of him if you can see that. Let me see. See that? So it gives you a good little flying aerial effect. And I think that's pretty cool. Now I got this playset. Or piece diorama, not necessarily for the the Neo stuff. I got it more so to use with other figures like the, you know, Legends and stuff like that. I just wanted to, to display scene, but I put this in here just to give you an idea. It does come out, of course. It doesn't have to stay there, but I think that's a pretty cool little feature. But I'm gonna pull it out for right now, uh, so we can get a better view of everything else. Um, see, it just goes right into the back like that. Check the Neo figure out. Um, of course, like I said, they're not really articulated. You do have some movement, you know, up and down in the arms. Uh, they do move a little bit, but not much. Uh, this arm goes up and down, as you can see right here, a little bit, but not much. Legs are permanently fixed in this drop kick or, you know, <laughs> Liu Kang kick type position. But the detail on it, if you can look, let me zoom in on his face. Uh, no. It's pretty good, you know, um, it's pretty amazing, actually. And just like the detail on like the jacket and whatnot, it's crazy, you know. And the same with the other one, he's already preset in this little fixed little, I'm getting kicked across the room type position. You can move the arms a little bit like that, but it doesn't move out of position, you know, it's just made, you know, more so to reenact that scene. But if you wanted to have him, like, on the ground doing another scene for a filler or something like that, that's cool. This moves out of the way. Anyway, here is the statue that it came with. Right here, pretty nicely detailed. And this whole thing is like a hard plastic all the way through it's all solid so it's not like no cardboard cutout or anything like that it's all a hard plastic um, the floor is hard plastic but then it has a nice little sticker to, to simulate like a marble marble floor 
If you turn right to the staircase right here, spiral steps. Let me see if I can lighten that up a little bit. There we are. Spiral steps. Uh, goes up like that. Pretty nice little feature. You can have some nice characters kind of running down here, maybe shooting some machine guns or you know, running up the stairs, fighting or something like that, or somebody, let's say, falling down like this, maybe. Something like that, you know. Pretty cool. Uh, nice rail detail, you know, gold trimming all the way around. Uh, nice little shield addition. You do have to place this up here. It doesn't come already pre-attached, but it's simple. It just goes two little holes in the peg on the side. You know, you just pop them in the back like this. Um, the swords do individually all come out, and they're, they're real simple. They just have like a little, uh, let's see if we can get a zoom in there. Focus. It's got like a little slot like thing. You just stick it in there real simple, and they all come out. It's a pretty cool little feature, I thought. So yeah, I definitely, I definitely recommend getting it if you want to just, you know, have a room to recreate. A scene. This is how the back looks. Very simple. Nothing. Uh, but if you want something to put on like a shelf or this will fit probably in your Detolf. I'm about to put it in my Detolf ca case right now. It looks like it'll fit pretty much exactly. And if you want something like I said to do a nice little quick little battle scene or even like just a, a stand-up scene. If you want just to put some figures like a team or a group of people maybe coming down the stairs or you know just kind of hanging around. This is definitely something I recommend. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. Uh, it was just a quick little video just to kind of give you guys a, a in-depth look at it. Um, so I hope I helped you guys out. Rate, comment, subscribe. Remember, keep collecting and it's always showtime. Okay, until next time guys, later. Peace.